Have you ever blindly clicked accept to terms and conditions, but never actually read them? Well, if you're a human being, the answer is yes. We've all done that. But when it comes to your wedding, number one, you need a contract. Number two, you should read it. Hey guys, welcome to Wedding Tips by Joe. My name is Joe. I'm the creative director for Orange Floats. And today we're gonna be talking about contracts with vendors. If any kind of vendor is trying to charge you or get you to pay them and you do not have a contract with them already signed, run away. Just run away or just ask them for a contract. Maybe they forgot. A few things in the contract that you need to be aware of. Number one, the refund policy. I literally had a friend last year, they booked a DJ and the DJ immediately canceled on them. They asked for a refund and the DJ says, well, for my contract, I have 30 days to refund you. In other words, this DJ needed to make rent. So they booked this wedding with no intention of ever fulfilling it. Good news is they did have a refund policy, but no, the refund policy is usually not going to be immediate, but there should be clauses in there about what you can expect, how much can be refunded. For my wedding film packages, your deposit is non-refundable. It says that in the contract. Now, if some crazy circumstance happens like a death or something crazy I'm gonna be as flexible as I can be to like serve and love the person who booked me but obviously if someone just changes their mind or they go over budget or whatever I need to be protected as a vendor because if I book your wedding and hold that for four months and then you try to cancel on me it might be too late for me to refill that date in which case I'm gonna be losing a lot of money so it's very normal for vendors not to offer a full refund but just check out the policy and make sure the contract outlines what services they are providing the date the location like stuff to to make sure everyone's on the same page. A contract protects you and it protects the vendor. And if you have any contract questions, leave them in the comments and people sign a contract, please. If you're a wedding vendor and you don't know how to make a contract, there's a lot of legitimate websites where you can pay to get contract templates and then fill in all the information. And it's like reviewed by lawyers. It's like actual legit stuff. The Law Talk, I think is one of them. So check that out. If you're a vendor, you need contracts, make them as soon as possible before you book anything else. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for joining. Sign your contracts and read them maybe before you sign them.